um, the what's it called the swap image so right now I'm looking at swap I'm gonna put the background image there all right and then I'm gonna switch back to the main image and you know you can do that with this little handy tool here s for swap or switch uh, there is another so you can see you can do that uh, there's another option under the image menu where you can jump to the swap image and uh, there's a keyboard shortcut for that if you have the keyboard focus there you go if you if you lose the keyboard focus and nothing happens when you hit the J uh, what you could do is don't don't paint in it don't stamp in it it, will, it might modify the pixels but you can paint you can click on this gray zone in the background without interacting with anything just clicking on this area between uh, let's say in the layers area the empty layers zone um, I call that the dead zone and then so if you hit then that way you can get the keyboard focus back and uh, you can use the keyboard shortcuts which by the way are shown here on the help uh, keyboard shortcut reference right um, so in fact let's look for the J for jump um, keyboard shortcut reference do we see a J should be prominently displayed you would think there it is swaps the current buffer with the swap buffer and then there's also the shift j or capital j copies one to the other right all right so um we have this image loaded in um what we want to become the swap that is a swap right now so let's switch back to the main image and we will load this one again but this time also load the alpha channel and again that was stored automatically when we stored the image it also grabbed the alpha so I'm going to go and put that in, replace the alpha, and or I could go into this separately stored alpha, which we saw as well, so we can always work with that as well. All right, so we have this image here with the mask, with the selection mask, and we have this image here with uh, out the mask, but you still see the mask, and that's because the mask is actually not tied to the image itself. It's a global alpha channel. And whatever that mask is, right now it enables the visibility inside of it and masks or protects the outside. That's not ultimately what we want, right? Because now the next step was going to go to the filter and combine with swap and mix with swap. The mix allows you to go from one image to the other, or blending or mixing between. But the problem is that the alpha channel, it does the right thing. It, it, make sure it only happens where it's enabled the problem is right now it's the wrong side is enabled it's the part inside the mountain scene so i need to first invert the uh, swap the selection and you can do that from the selection menu and invert it right here there's a vertical uh, vertical bar to switch with that that's the vertical uh, bar uh, or you can if you have a stored copy here you can invert it in the stored copy and then replace it in there so invert it like this or inverted like that that's what we want we want white means selected and so these are the selected pixels and we want them so that we can now go into the combine with swap the mix mode allows you to show the uh the sky right in there all right and then you can of course clear the selection and you have your composited result all right uh the foreground here will be subject perhaps to another um let's see another mountain range here in the front uh and uh, or you'll paint something on it that's that's quite often the case never think of it being done the the different components uh need to be sort of free of uh you know transparent background but then beyond that you you will probably want to do other stuff let's say using some brushes to paint some more rocks on there or, or place even something totally different there or of course uh particle brushes right you might want to put some baddie grass right here in the foreground and before you know it we are back on mother earth all right so i hope this helps uh with uh, starting to, to do compositions I, I think there's a couple of other techniques that might be useful to composite or swap has the color key so there's a green screen and a blue screen equivalent and then any color really you can pick to to uh to do the the transparency transition or to flag what pixels should actually not show their color um so yeah lots of things to explore uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time